What's going on guys? Matt from MLHD Tech here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mountain Smith Descent camera sling bag. Now in case you guys didn't know, the point of a sling bag is it is one strap, so when you wear it over your shoulder, you're just able to pull it around, swing it under, open up the pocket, and get to your stuff without having to set it on the ground. It's a really easy way to carry around a lot of stuff and be able to get to it quickly. Now opening up the main pocket, you'll notice that both sides are soft Velcro, so the yellow dividers that it comes with can be placed anywhere and in any configuration that you want. And I've noticed they are pretty nice. They do stick really well, and they're a lot nicer than some of like the cheap stuff you get off of an Amazon bag. Now inside the main pocket of the bag, you can hold a lot because it is a pretty large pocket. I comfortably fit a DSLR with a smaller lens, a 70 to 200, another small lens or some accessories like an LED light, and then there's actually some more pockets on the bottom that you can stick something under if you're only gonna need it every once in a while. And what's really nice about that configuration is you have quick access to everything, like you can just pull the camera out of the main pocket. If you need another lens, you can set your current lens in, pull another one out, and that way you don't have to deal with holding a lens like under your arm or something, and it's just a really simple, fluent process. Moving out of the pocket, looking at the lid, you have two mesh pockets with nice zippers on them. One is green and one is red. I choose to use this for batteries, so when I have a couple extra batteries and I'm out shooting for a day, you put all the charged ones in the green, and then whenever you pull them out of the camera, you put them in the red. That way you don't have to dig through your batteries and figure out which ones are charged and which ones aren't. Moving to the front of the bag, we have a pocket that is closed with Velcro for bigger papers or any other little accessories that you want to fit in this front pocket. And then you have a small mesh pocket that you could put SD cards in or other like smaller items like little screwdrivers or any little camera accessories that you need. And then next to it, there's another small pocket that you could kind of keep whatever in. I keep a few AA batteries, but it's not the exact best spot to keep them because they can roll around a little bit. Coming out to the outside of the bag, there's a few more features that make this bag really user friendly. You have a strap right here to hold a monopod or a tripod leg, which makes it really easy to carry and not have to worry about carrying it and the bag. On the top, there's a really sturdy padded handle that doesn't show any signs of weakness and will definitely be able to carry this bag around with a lot of stuff in it. On the back, on the strap and the actual back of the bag, there's some nice gray padding that is ventilated and it feels really comfortable when you're carrying this bag, especially when you have a lot of weight in it. Moving down to the bottom of the bag, you have this little loop right here that's really nice for hanging stuff from. And then moving down a little bit more, there's a rain cover. You just undo the Velcro, pull it out over the bag, and then you should be good for snow and rain. I wouldn't trust it long periods of time, but if you get caught out in the rain, you can throw it over and it's definitely gonna keep the bag more dry than if you didn't have it. Moving back up to the strap, you have another little strap that helps secure the uh, single strap design. Because if you're hiking or moving around a lot, the bag might slide around on your shoulder, so this helps it keep it secure. Now the strap is adjustable in two different ways. You can move it up and down on the strap, and you can tighten it and clamp it down to fit your size and needs. Overall, I do like the bag. It's not my favorite bag, and that's why I don't really use it that much. It does have a really nice big capacity, and the dividers are high quality, so you're able to set it up any way that works for you. Overall, I was able to fit a 7D Mark II in here with a battery grip and a 70 to 200 along with a flash and wireless flash triggers, which it was really nice to be able to fit that in one pocket and have the accessibility of the sling bag, but that's where you kind of run into the problem of the sling bag is it only has one strap. Now the one strap is nice to be functional like that, but it does start to dig in your shoulder when you have high weight loads inside of the bag, which is why I tend to lean more to a backpack. And another benefit to the backpack is definitely most backpacks have a laptop sleeve, which is like really nice, because if you were gonna use this and you need to add it on the go, you're gonna have to carry a second backpack or a second bag to carry your laptop, which kinda slows you down carrying two bags versus one. Overall, I do like it. I can't recommend it for the high price that Mountain Smith has it listed at. Maybe if you could find one used, if you really need a sling bag. But overall, I'd say find something a little cheaper, maybe an Amazon Basics bag or something, some kind of backpack that's cheaper and holds more overall being more functional. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you wanna check out some more tech reviews, remember to subscribe and check back often. It's been Matt from MLHD Tech. See you guys later.